Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. So nice of you to join me while I bask in my little oasis of splendor. I'm soaking up the extravagant delights of Bastrop County, Texas, where I just received the hot news on AMD's Ryzen 7000 series processors, including performance, pricing, and packs. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant specs. <laughs> So light the candles, pour the wine, and get ready to call 911 because when you hear these juicy details, you're going to die in 5 nanometers. Before we continue, thanks to CD Keyoffer for sponsoring this video. Hello fellow kids, it's back to school season, which means you're probably sad and angry right now. To help quell the anguish of your return to institutionalized education, CD Key Offer is having a back to school sale on software keys, including global lifetime keys for Windows 10 Pro. Right now, they're even letting you stack my offer code on top of their offer. Use code BW20 at checkout for an additional discount and snag a legit Windows 10 key for just 16 bucks. Afterwards, simply view and copy the key you just purchased, paste it into the Windows activation page, and presto. Enjoy every feature Windows 10 has to offer ditch the watermark, and even use it for a free upgrade to Windows 11. CVKeyOffer.com is also having a back-to-school physical sale on gear like mechanical keyboards, gaming headsets, RGB decor, and more. Remember kids, just because you're going back to school doesn't mean you can't leverage this awful time in your life to your benefit. By the way, you don't need to be a student to take advantage of any of these deals, so congratulations! Everything sucks a lot less for you. Check out the links in the description below and start browsing all of the limited time deals on CVKeyOffer.com. Today's presentation from AMD was the single most amazing event I have ever witnessed in my life. It changed me as a man, mentally, emotionally, physically. I grew three inches, and I'm a little taller. The Ryzen 7000 series CPUs are the world's first five nanometer processors for desktop PCs. Built on the latest Zen 4 architecture and arriving with a new AM5 platform, AMD claims that Ryzen 7000 will be the fastest gaming core yet delivering across-the-board improvements over Ryzen 5000 and the current generation of Intel CPUs. A 13% uplift in IPC over Zen 3 and a maximum frequency up to 5.7 GHz gives the new chips a 29% single-thread performance gain compared to Ryzen 5000, making it the fastest core for gamers. That's right, the new processors are even better than the old processors. Just five minutes into the presentation when I thought I couldn't be any more aroused, AMD showed me their stack. The first four Zen 4 SKUs will be available on September 27th, which just so happens to be National Chocolate Milk Day. Coincidence? Probably. At the top is their flagship Ryzen 9 7950X at 699 USD. That's $100 less than what the 5950X launched at two years ago. Me likey. It has 16 cores, 32 threads, and clocks up to 5.7 GHz with a 170 watt TDP packing 80 MB of cache. Compared to the 5950X, AMD showed the 7950X delivering up to a 35% uplift in gaming performance and up to a 48% increase in creator performance. A V-Ray render demo also showed the new flagship computing up to 57% faster than Intel's Core i9-12900K, while also delivering 47% more performance per watt. Say what? Next in line is the Ryzen 9 7900X at $549, the same launch price as the 5900X. More performance for the same price? Me also likey. It has 12 cores, 24 threads, a max frequency of 5.6 GHz, and a 170 watt TDP with 76 MB of cache. The Ryzen 7 7700X will launch at $399, $50 more than the 5800X. Me less likey. The large price difference between the 7700X and 7900X hints that we may see another SKU close that gap down the line. I'll put in a request for a 10-core Ryzen 9 in AMD suggestion box as soon as I'm done soaking in luxury. The 7700X comes with 8 cores, 16 threads, a clock up to 5.4 GHz, and a 105 watt TDP with 40 MB of cache. Finally at the bottom of the stack is the Ryzen 5 7600X with 6 cores, 12 threads, a max frequency of 5.3 GHz, and a 105 watt TDP with 38 MB of cache. An MSRP of $299 makes it $100 more than the 5600X. Needless to say, me no likey. 
Then again, AMD claimed that across five select games they tested, the 7600X was 5% faster on average than the 12900K, which is currently selling for $550. While the claim is impressive, gamers with only 200 bucks to spend on a CPU don't give a sh**. It's possible that cheaper Zen 4 chips will arrive in the future, but budget gamers looking to hop on the new chips will have to wait for now. Sorry, budget gamers. At any rate, AMD seems confident that Ryzen 7000 will enter the market with unmatched gaming performance and power efficiency. I'll drink to that. <laughs> with the arrival of Ryzen 7000 comes the new AM5 platform. It sports a new 1718-pin LGA socket that'll still work with AM4 coolers in an epic bro move by AMD. The platform also features increased socket power delivery up to 230 watts while maintaining excellent performance per watt and power efficiency. You know what's better than DDR4? DDR5. The platform supports DDR5 memory with higher frequencies, lower memory latency, and more capacity per DIMM. AM5 won't support DDR4 because DDR4 sucks now. Details were also revealed on AMD Expo technology. Extended overclocking profiles for supported memory kits that offer one-click DDR5 overclocking for Ryzen, delivering faster gaming performance, and other things that gamers don't care about as much but are still cool. Enthusiasts can expect over 15 supported AMD Expo memory kits at launch, with speeds up to DDR5-6400. If that's not enough to gigabyte power supply your mind, AM5 also supports PCIe 5 for maximum performance on Gen 5 graphics cards and storage devices. Gen 5 drives will be available starting November of this year, so keep your eyes peeled. The all-new AM5 platform also includes four different chipset options, X670 and X670 Extreme arriving in September, and B650 and B650 Extreme come October. The X series will be uncompromising, with more overclocking headroom and maximum I.O., with the extreme versions of both the X and B series offering PCIe 5 for graphics and storage. Non-extreme versions will feature PCIe 5 for storage only, which is notably less extreme. Sadly, AMD didn't expand much on their new extreme chipsets, leaving many questions unanswered, like whether motherboard manufacturers will be able to add or omit certain features. At the very least, it appears all four chipset variants will support full overclocking for Ryzen 7000. My soft, supple body may be lacking coverage, but Zen 4 on my YouTube channel certainly won't be. So stay tuned for more updates and my eventual review of these thrilling new processors. Till next time, my friends.